uh, I not given time to ask questions on Saturday. Today you can ask the questions in last fifteen minutes. Okay, right. Look here. Uh, up to now, what is the class construction happened up to now means, sir? We took one class. Inside this class, we are taking variables. Inside that class, we are taking variables. So, class in Java can hold variables. That's the meaning actually. The variables in Java can be repetition. I'm doing. The variables in Java can be primitive data type variable. Primitive data type variable. The variable can be non-primitive data type variable. Primitive data type variable or non-primitive data type variable. Primitive data type variable means the variable will be the variable will be under eight types: byte, short, int, long, float, double, char, and boolean. If you take one variable among these eight, we call it as primitive data type variable. This primitive data type variable will hold value. That is the meaning behind it. This variable can be static variable and non-static variable. The variable can be static. The variable can be non-static. Two options are available here. The variable which is declared with the static keyword, we call it as static variable. Static variable will get the memory within the class while class loading. And can be accessed with the class name. That's the theoretical information available with you. Non-static variable two types are there. Non-static variable theoretically two types are available with you. Two types are available with you. So that is instance variable and that is local variable. Two types are there. The non-static variable which is declared outside the methods. The non-static variables, which are declared outside the methods, we call it as instance variables. These instance variables will get the memory within the object while object creation, and can be accessed with the object name. That's a theory. Local variable, the non-static variable which is declared inside the method, we call it as local variable. This local variable will get the memory within the method frame or within the method while method execution. You can say. Now the same theory is valid for your non-primitive data type variable. Same theory is valid for non-primitive data type variable also. If anybody says, uh, when you are saying that local variable, somebody asks, what is global variable? They will ask it. You must remember, there is no concept of local variable, sorry, global variable in Java because variable cannot be declared outside the class and no variable will get the memory outside the class. Means variable inside the method. Method part of class or part of object. So the variable can be inside the object. The variable can be inside the class. Only three locations: class locations memory, object location memory, and method location memory. We cannot find memory outside the classes. We cannot see. So there is no concept of global variable. So theory, static variable as local variable. If anybody asked, so there is no concept of. Static variable as local variable. We cannot take static variables as local variables. That point to be remembered. Why, sir? Means static variable means must get the memory in the class. You cannot give a memory in the method frame. Not possible. So we cannot take static variable as local. Sir, if I take what happens, sir? Grammatical mistake means compilation error means grammar not available. That's the information. After these variables, we took methods. 
after that variables we took methods now methods means some actions or some calculations operations so they do some actions on the data to generate some result so theory now these methods are categorized into two types one is static method one is non static method one is static method one is non static method is available static method non static method the methods which are declared with a static keyword we call it as static methods these static methods will get the memory within the class while class loading and can be accessed with the class name coding rule static methods can access only static variable because the the methods are available in the classes they can access the variables from the classes because of this reason static methods can access only static variable they cannot access instance variable the theory is there and the diagram also available to you already non static method you can call it as instance method you can say non static method or you can call it as instance method you can say so non static method means the method which is declared without a static keyword we are calling it as non static method these non static methods or instance methods will get the memory within the object while object creation and can be accessed with the object name so theory now coding rule now the instance method can access variable in the object variable in the class means can access both instance variables and static variables it can access sir why the method of object can access the variable in the class the reason the object belongs to class or the object memory belongs to class because of this reason the members available in the object can access members available in the class the coding rule instance methods can access both variable static and non static these only rules right to explain that methods methods has two forms based on parameter some methods will written sorry the methods are declared with parameter some methods are declared without parameters for that we given one or two programs methods are two types written type non written type some methods will return the value back some methods will not return the value back how to identify written type non written type means void non void if a method declared with void we call it as non written type methods the methods will not return any value back when you remove that void the void should be replaced with any one data type maybe maybe int byte short and so on it should be replaced with any data type indicates the methods will return the value after method execution so theory these return type methods will return the value back and the return type value will return the value to the method call you can say in that method call you can have one variable to catch the return type value so these are the points available with us so with parameter without parameter return type non return type to give that practice and we bring that logical programming components inside logical they are not object oriented programming components they are logical programming components iterative statement selection statements transfer statement these three are known as logical programming components they are common to all the languages understood this point now we are object oriented programmers our flavor is object flavor because our syllabus covered up to variable and method is object oriented syllabus logical programming components are iterative statements selection statements and branching statements we bring them inside to construct the object oriented their strength should be clear so that logical programming part you can select from any language c language trainer also will write selection statements iterative statements branching statements python trainer php trainer dot net trainer all the language trainers they'll give training on that logical part we are under object part according to our syllabus don't say 
loops covered why loop covered don't say they are not our syllabus understood this point and understood this point everybody because student don't know that because all are practicing while loop no i also should practice while loop is not object oriented component for loop is not object oriented it's a logical programming component clear this point and our object oriented programming means our variables our methods that is our syllabus but we also give two or three programs related to them to bring the switch cases if else nested if they will be coming till the ending logical programming components will be available till the ending up to now for loop not entered into your course exit not entered into the course remaining parts entered one or two programs are there again we collect that programs we do it such programs again we do it with a string chapter we are going to do it until then we are busy in moving our object oriented syllabus understood this point and that is the point so in this process variables and methods you should not have a doubt i had while loop doubt sir i had for loop doubt sir one program i am not understanding no problem we will going to repeat that program to you that structure will be repeated but everybody should read variables and methods that is our object oriented programming concept from core java understood this point now so how much part completed means two parts completed that is variables and methods now if i scroll back like this right we are giving training on java alphabets variables primitive non primitive i given here the same information here methods static methods instance methods the same thing i written after all the alphabets has been completed i'll copy that content to your notes to see that all alphabets together okay right so up to now i completed variables and methods clear everyone right in this week and this week especially i missed one class on maybe thursday i think right because of thursday class missing i not given time to ask questions on saturday that's the reason because that part i must complete it that week part i must complete in the fourth week i must bring blocks constructors packages id eclipse training should be done in this week that is a program understood this point now so because of this reason what has been happened in the last week if anybody has questions today you can ask that questions if not tomorrow last 15 minutes today 15 minutes you can ask that questions to me right so meanwhile i am going for the next two alphabets one is block one is constructor can i go forward now our syllabus in your programs any doubts are there you just halt it and keep it we are going to answer them again right that programs are given one assignment also branch check assignment i not given the solution to you the reason string chapter will come maybe this week by saturday the string chapter will come or by monday first day the string chapter will come inside when the string chapter comes again the logical program for loop will come there right again the logical programming components will enter into the programming again so logical programming components with object oriented programming components with id eclipse with string we are going to do the coding part in the week 5 that's a point got it right so up to then we are busy in moving some content in object oriented go for blocks in java the third alphabet into the class is known as blocks understood now now class is going to hold blocks class is going to hold constructors in this week right in this week up to last week the class is holding variable method i am not highlighting main so main comes under method category the main comes under method category i separated your main class so that execution point i separated separately now i am concentrating on remaining alphabet variable method now class is going to hold block so our syllabus is block and constructors in this week that's a plan okay right make a saying blocks in java
small chapter short chapter for reading purpose blocks in java so whenever you find time read variables and methods the notes that is for interview purpose you must be clear in variables and methods the set of the set of statements which are declared within the flower brackets the the set of statements which are declared within the flower brackets and executed automatically and executed automatically is known as block the set of statements which are declared within the flower brackets and executed automatically is known as block underline the term automatically underline the term automatically sir why sir look here once before block coming into class before block coming into class already we had variables already we had methods and now the block is coming already we had variables methods and the block is coming whenever we want to execute one method whenever we want to execute one method we are calling the method for execution means if it is a static method we call with the class name if it is a instance method we call with the object name finally methods are called for execution they will not run automatically that's a point so methods are executed on method call one doubt will come to you sir in the week 2 we highlighted static non static and we given a much notes to you in the week 3 whenever i am writing my assignments all are non static only observe that i not used static variable i not used static. yes in real time market we are object oriented programmers we must work with the variable available in the object we must work with the method available in the object because of this reason your variables and methods are instances by default all your assignments will be instance variables instance methods because object oriented programmer should work with objects if we take static variable memory will be in the class if we take static method memory will be in the class you are not class oriented programmers but even then class is under our control only on demand we are going to use it your project will say use it means will say sir in what form it says means whenever we want to keep any programming component shared by multiple objects if anybody want to share one variable suppose one class generated five objects one class generated five objects now all these objects want to share one variable then they'll keep the variable in the class that is the concept now this five objects want to share one method they'll keep that method in the class which one they want to share it they'll keep in the class which one they don't want to share it they'll keep in the objects that only technique your project will say what variable has to keep it until then don't keep it we are working with instance variable and instance method theoretically you know static variable and static method that's a concept now so the set of statements which are executed within the flower brackets and executed automatically is known as a block automatically means as a programmer we are not calling the blocks somebody on the camera now we are not calling the blocks block call not there we had a method call no like this
block call is not available blocks are executed automatically they only will be executed automatically let us find it like this the blocks in java make it the blocks in java are categorized into the blocks in java are categorized into two types again blocks in java are categorized into two types static block static block non static block nothing but instance block static block and instance block the instance block we call it as non static block like method only static block and instance block we had now make a sending static block the block which is declared with static keyword the block which is declared with the static keyword is known as static block the block which is declared with the static keyword is known as static block so generally block means like this open flower bracket closed flower bracket some set of statements whenever you write some set of statements within the flower brackets we call it as block now this block declared with the static means we call it as static block if you remove the static means it block it call it as instance block that only so this is one static block right it syntax this is syntax static open flower bracket and closed the flower bracket within that we had set of statements are available now sir what is its execution behavior execution behavior execution behavior execution behavior means you know already it is executed automatically you know automatically from now we are going to use that word automatically constructor somewhere we write automatically somewhere in the future we write at automatically means developer not involved it only runs that's the meaning of automatically whenever i write automatically means we are not involved because we are only code writer but we are not variable methods under our control whenever i call the method the method will come whenever i call the method method will come but whenever it is a static block now suppose any block is there i am not calling it only will run anyway i understood sir the block is running automatically but when it will be run executed when it will be executed means while class loading ah after class loading ah right while object creation ah after object creation ah sir when it runs i want to know that only execution behavior execution behavior is static block 
the static block is executed with the highest priority static block means highest priority means method is there block is there means block is highest priority right static block is executed with highest priority while class loading that's a statement make it static block static block is executed automatically with highest priority with highest priority while while class loading static block is executed automatically with highest priority while class loading while class loading right while class loading now see there static means class level static variable static method static block now that is it is having a static block now suppose in my program now example program for demonstration once so i am taking demo static block so this is one main class i am taking demo static block one main class like this so in the last week we started working with the sub classes anyway sub so i took one sub class for demo purpose i took s test roughly i took it okay right so inside this i'll take one static variable i will take it this is static variable static variable means you know memory in class that imagination purpose i am writing that statement okay right i am taking one static method void m i am taking one static method i am taking void m so static method means memory in class see while i am completing my syllabus i am bringing statics when i am working with programs i am not using static observe this point when i am some assignment program no need when i am covering syllabus everywhere the static will come static classes static interfaces static inner classes static imports like this many things will come so class is saying that i also will have a components it says but we are object oriented programmer no practice should be in the objects generally in the syllabus part we bring that statics very right what that all syllabuses we cover it now static method anyway i'll keep one message here print ln here display from m means static method m simply you can write m enough now system dot out dot print ln the value a is equal to plus a sir static method can access static variable we know that sir already this two parts already covered no i took only static i took it i am not taking instance now when the class is having all static 
members static variable static method right object is needed a object not needed a object not needed you know that statement already so for this object not needed sir you can call that method that method see there if i compile this program example i will compile this program to you once i'll compile this program to you java c demo static block i took like this the program sir no answer understood this point now right now suppose this main method is there here system dot out dot println i kept one message as main i kept it now if i compile the program and run it main will come here main method is executed automatically we write a notes to you actually main method is also not automatic actually main method is called by this command java command is there no this this java command will call that main method actually that statement we make in bit last anyway now main method is coming there subclass related method not coming because it cannot be executed automatically we have to call it so methods are executed on method call so before that message i am calling yes test dot m i am calling so this is static method call now before this message this method is called executed and answer will come my intention behind this output is static method available in the class is executed on method call using class statics are there means object not needed you know right now i am bringing one static block this is one static block so i'll keep a message here now system dot out dot print ln i'll keep a message this is one subclass static block the message is coming from subclass static block now i'll compile this program now and i'll execute it static block will run so we are not calling the static block it only executing or not now right now the static block is saying that i also can access that variable means i also will print that variable the value a is equal to plus a now static block says that i also can access static variable because static block also will get the memory in the class only so static means class no it can access class see there now i'll compile the program i'll execute it static block says that i also can access understood this point everyone right okay now i'll take one instance variable i will take it int b is equal to 20 this is instance variable memory in object understood this point now right this b cannot be accessed by m you know already understood this point now if we create object also it cannot access when the static method cannot access b static block also cannot access understood that i don't know i want to say now 
Static block also same rule. Static blocks can access static variables directly, but cannot access instance variables. The rule like methods. Understood this point now? See, I will execute that and show to you. Suppose M cannot print it, you know already, but I am repeating this point to you. The value B is equal to plus B. Now system dot out dot print ln. The value B is equal to plus B. Now in this program, two errors. Compiler will give two errors. One error: static method M cannot access B. Static block cannot access B. There are two errors. Errors are error will come when you don't follow the rule. Error will come when you don't follow the rule. That only error. Grammatical error. When the student cannot follow the rule, error will come. Beyond that, mistakes means what? Semicolon missing, space missing. Uh, open floor bracket missing. There are mistakes. There are type mistakes. Grammar different and type mistakes different. Type mistake means some keyboard not working. Also, some keys will not work. That's called typing mistake. Copy paste and dragging down the copy paste will be missing. But when you are uh, looking into program, these are all grammar mistake. Grammar means what are not available. If you do, error will come. That's the point. Okay, to remove this error, sorry. Anyway, don't access. Don't access. Now answer will come. Already you seen the answer. If I remove it, recompile and execute. Okay, right. Now second point I'm repeating here to write that second point. Yeah, write it under execution behavior. We write it. Static blocks, static blocks can access. Static variables directly, static variables directly, but cannot access instance variables directly. But cannot access instance variables directly. Now, so one more statement to all. Look here. While object creations. The class will load only once. Actually, I made this statement in the before or not? I cannot remember. But the class loads only once. When you suppose you created two objects for the class. Suppose we are creating two objects for the class. For the first object, the class will come. For the second object, class already available. Means what? Class loads only once onto the Method area, so every time it will not load. For your execution, it loads only once. When the class is loading only once, static block executes only once. That's the point. Static block also executed only once. The third point is static block is one time executable block while class loading, and the class loads only once. While class loading, the static block executes only once. Finish second execution under. That's the specialty of static block. Make it third point. Static block is static block is one time one time executable executable component while Class loading while class loading 
and and the class loads the class loads only once the class loads only once static block is one time executable component underline that one time executable component one time executable component while class loading while class loading and they will ask how many times the class loads means the class loads only once second loading not there for the class once it comes it is available i am also loads only once here i am loaded here means my all objects will come each notebook is my object only on thursday date not there for you because class not loaded i am not available means my object not there your date not available in your book on thursday 24th because i am in leave that leave is planned leave only since one week back it has been planned so 24th date not there means what my notebook is my object understood this point now right so once i loaded here multiple objects will come that's a concept i am loading only once for this 150 sprints i load only once got it right now sir where i can use the behavior of static block in real time sir where i can find in real time okay sir static block definition okay static block execution okay it executes while class load with the highest priority okay fine i need access only static variable fine and it executes only once okay sir where i you must use this component in real time where i should use it in real time database connections will come in advanced java database connections will come the database connection code we are going to write in the static block why sir static block executes only once database connection also establishes only once so according to the real time market there is one architecture known as mvc model view controller one architecture is there according to that architecture database connection must be established only once for that as a code writers we use static block because in the total java alphabets variable method block constructor remaining all comma among that all alphabets who runs only once means a static block methods also you can execute for two times because if you call second time the method will come yes or no if you want to call this method call it once again you can call it the methods you can call how many times you want it you can call it because the method is available in the class only no whenever you want to call it when you call it the method will come to java stack area executes and destroys again you call it will come executes and destroys again you call it will come that only next line method you are calling no two three times you are calling next line method or not now to read branch to read name to read roll number the same way this method is also called any number of times like your machine only and vlc player sitting in c drive today you click on that vlc player the vlc player will be opened in the ram opened in the ram executed running some songs there you want to shut down it close the vlc player shut down it closing vlc player not destroying no it is going back to the c drive no it resuming back to the c drive or that only happening when our next day if you on the system what happen now again if you click on vlc player again it comes to the ram why it is coming to ram i said no king is looking into ram i said or not now here also same where is the method is sitting now class click on click in not clicking call that method when you call the method where the method will come method will come to java stack area why sir king is sitting there our diagram also that only no so the method will come there so after execution completed what happen destroy it we are not destroying it only destroying automatically or not the method frame destroys automatically after method execution completed again if you want to call it call it again so i am calling for the second time or not now like this That's the point you can call the method any number of times you can call it but static block only once static block is coming only once or not now 
that is the specialty of static block static block is only one time executable component once the class loading completed static block also completes once it is completed we cannot call for the second time that's a point just make it note in real time note in real time static block is used in dao data access object layer in real time static block is used in dao layer part of mvc model view controller model view controller in real time static block is used in dao layer dao layer of you can say dao layer of mvc to hold to hold database database connection code database connection code database connection code in real time static block is used in dao layer of mvc to hold database connection code everybody clear right just remember as that point if anybody asked of course when you go for interview for any core java they'll ask this question where we use static block static block means to hold database connections if we can remember say that one statement if you can remember the total statements you can say when you come to advanced java we prepare that statement to you meanwhile situation came i'm asking how many of you started oracle raise your hands right how many of you started html css javascript raise your hands right who has been not started oracle raise your hands not started okay who not started html css javascript not right because for you next coming batch is advanced got it one right for full stack java developers for you next coming batch is on the way advanced will come first advanced will come first as a parallel batch why means you are nearer after blocks constructor id eclipse will come after that is strings wrapper classes references will come references inheritance interface you are nearer that is a object oriented flower once i complete that management will bring advanced right before that i asked you to cover some part oracle some part html right in that html html anybody started css raise your hands not started html first second is css third javascript after that javascript angular will be started for you angular 13 will be started when the angular is running they'll start bootstrap one framework that all ui only understood this point right oracle completed mean they'll stop it they will not give mysql to you now only they'll give oracle some part and they'll stop because advanced java trainers will use oracle we use oracles and we give a training when the project started web services and there there we use mysql we train the mysql that part right okay once core java ended with some part to 80% then selenium will come and this that's a point right once advanced java started advanced java second unit will be there that is servlets when servlet started your spring boot with microservices will be started understood it? when it is started they'll start dev sec apps module will be started understood it so here you are busy with three classes i think oracle html and because last three weeks you joined you joined on third or somewhere right okay means first week is a demo week last two weeks you are in the alert mode if anybody not started start now so say in the telegram batches and if not i'll ask them to i'll post it in your google classroom today if not i'll ask somebody to post it 
right management so who not started started because i am nearer because they are they will be depending upon next year will be depending upon me because of this reason uh, i'll take logical components some part i'll give the remaining part with the strings remaining part with arrays like this i'll add that component to my syllabus and come i will not keep on wasting my time there the reason that flower should be biggest course no i must carry forward my for my flow should come so that syllabus flow will be carried and the logical components i'll add some part i added in the last week some part i added in the next week strings are coming i'll add their remaining part and there some training and revision will be done again we add that part to last arrays will come arrays collections maps there we add the logical components again we again while loop for loop again do while loop that all we bring it like this we add three levels we add that logical components slowly student in the first part clumsy means last week is a confusion week for you i know but that is a common week variable method block where object where object should not be taken we know that the confusion mode will be there now after the blocks constructors packages id eclipse completed clarity will come then we move on to again logical programming components with object flower we move like this some clarity will come and the travel going on right okay just i remembered because database connection i said no i remember so how many of you completed oracle who not started you start oracle okay right okay now here that example program i'll paste here demo static block dot java see there now one doubt will come here now sir if i have a static block in the main class main class is available or not now see there this is main class no this is main class no right in this main class i'll give the static block in the main class i mean you can take the main static block in the main class also no issue because main class also class only no main class and it also can hold variable it also can hold blocks but only for clarity purpose in training process i removed that main class separately okay right so i am keeping one static block here now system dot system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln here this is main class static block i am keeping one comment main class static block i am putting one comment now main class static block i am keeping i am running this see there just now i said now ah uh, here also you can comment it now the main method is in the class level or object level class level so memory in class sir main is one static method static block also one static okay right the two are in the class level among the two who must have the highest priority in execution you feel it as in main as a normal method you feel it now who will have the highest priority in execution according to the rules who must have the highest priority block only who will have the highest priority now block static block is executed with the highest priority while class loading getting or not now so definitely static block must have the highest priority sir now let us check it main will come first or static block will come first or let us check it understood this point now right so if i execute it if i compiled and executed static block from main will have the highest priority can you see the above output first one what is the first one now main class static block who is executed first now static block from main executed small small things you have to read bit carefully and remember it the reason for your technical question papers they'll give some small question small program they'll give it they'll ask the questions that programs they'll give based on static blocks because static block behavior student cannot catch properly 
static block based programs they'll give it constructor based programs they'll give it some keywords private final because they'll confuse you private final inheritance this keyword super keyword super of this of such components only based on that only program critical questions would be there that all syllabuses that all interview point of view so here if you find any static block in the main class highest priority even executed before main method okay right now same rule now static block also you can take the variable sir see i am taking variable so static int some x is equal to 100 i am taking understood this point now right so static means what now sir this variable memory in class now the static variable can be accessed by the static method main can access so system dot out dot print ln main can access the value x is equal to plus x now static block also can access so system dot out dot print ln the value x is equal to plus x now the static block also trying to access this x now answer will come main class static block accessing 100 and main method accessing 100 before this message it call the uh, class from the subclass related components are called so subclass static block subclass method and so on so here call this method only once anyway you understood that moreover instance variable not accessed remove that instance variable So what he observed in this program, sir, all are statics, static variable, static method, static block. You can declare static variable, static method, static block in subclass. You can declare static variable, static method, static block in main class. So which class will be loaded first for the execution now? Main. So main class static block is coming after that subclass will be loaded so subclass static block will come that only output the output is the final output is main class static block then subclass static block then uh, of course i called uh, subclass method i called first it is methods our wish only know which method comes that method will come i am calling m so after that main so this is the output we had right so for this program we present one small diagram the reason you had a diagram on variables you had a diagram on methods so third variable is block no we present one small diagram for imagination so which class is coming in this object not there now in this program object not there just for imagination purpose execution flow of above program so how many class files will come in this program now two class files yes or no how many class files now two dot class files one is yes test dot class file one is demo static block dot class file two class files will come yes test dot class file and this is demo static block dot class file and this is one main class 
now we are loading main class onto java stack area anyway now just observe it method area where classes are loaded it's like a revision to you again heap area where objects are created today objects are available or not available not available so here java stack area remaining all no need to remember it right remember remaining all you must read when the interview is there when the interview is there remaining all you must read it right class loader subsystem pc register native method that all for interview only for uh, imagination daily these three are enough where class loads where object creates where it executes there you must have a clarity right while loop for loop you keep aside them they are logical components generally students will be weaker in logical programming we know already so you are learning object oriented flavor our object oriented we are perfect or not you have to check it variable method now blocks right divide it and learn it don't be confused okay right that logical components again we can sit and have a discussion on them don't worry okay right so our object oriented flower sir i had a diagram on variable i had a diagram on method means i had imagination on variables i had imagination on methods so i want imagination about the static block not still i not brought instance block okay right now sir this is method area anyway where classes are to be loaded heap area for today's program we don't have an object another one is java stack area anyway now the first class loaded is nothing but main class will be loaded yes or no right so main class will be loaded the main class is nothing but demo static block this is the class we loaded already you know the theory no while class loading static members will get the memories today all are static only right let us look into the main class now sir x is there so give them loading loading is going on loading is going on so x x will get the memory here x will get the memory here now main will get the memory public static void main will get the memory now static block will get the memory static block got the memory this is loading first loading then execution actually understood is fine first loading should be completed now the class loading completed once the class loading ended immediately static block is executed that's a concept actually immediately why means among that three who is having highest priority means static block so class loading completed means immediately static block will come for execution so static block will come for execution immediately the class loading completed immediately the class loading completed will come that's called we write it highest priority while class loading we write it because that execution is taken part of class loads once loading completed immediately it starts with the highest priority it starts so we write it as one with the highest priority the static block will come out so output will come mm. 
so output will come when the static block came here also frame will come method frame you are calling you no know, that frame will come here also frame will be there that block will come and execute it the block can access the variables from the class as if like static method it can access once execution completed it will be destroyed same process because the output is static block first main class static block is coming first or not now is the reason and printing x also okay right now once execution completed now main method will come now who will come now main method will come because main method comes under method category the loaders will say main method you wait for you highest priority component is available in your class that is static wait we load the static first if static block not there i might have loaded you up to now main only came no in the last week but static block is there means you are the second priority or to wait it that only happening so the now the main will come now the main will come so public static void main the main will come for execution that will come once the main method came here now in the main method some code is there the code is yes test dot m understood this point now we are having yes test dot m yes test dot m one line is there so m belongs to s test that is the meaning actually now the execution control will see that line i must execute one one, one method m which belongs to s test now the execution control will be looking in the method area is there any class s test not available so who is sitting in method area now sir demo static block is sitting s test is not available when the s test is not available the loader sorry execution control will pass information to loader i want to s test then s test will be loaded understood this point all right now s test is loading now s test is loading so sub class is loading now s test now yes test also having the static members no right look into yes test there are three components available one is a one is m one is static now here a will get the memory first static members has to get the memory a will get the memory now m will get the memory because static m will get the memory void m will get the memory now static block will get the memory static block will get the memory same process no now loading completed once loading completed immediately one block should be executed the static block is available or not now immediately the static block will come out not only concept so first the static block will come out first the static block will come with the highest priority the static block will come so we are giving highest priority for it that is 3 understood now right so static block from sub class answer will come answer came or not now right 
once a subclass static block execution completed then it applies the call now yes dash dot m i am waiting for the caller not now now m you come because you are the second priority you are waiting there till the block execution of course this is executed your output came and this is destroyed then only m will come then only m is coming with the priority 4 4 and this is m now that the m is executed now am i understood now right so first static block from main then static block from subclass then method from subclass so m came out no m came out or not now right after this m came out now m will be destroyed again the control will come to main or not now yes or no after that when it comes to the main i said no program counter register will show where you stopped program counter register will record it and keep it no which line you executed where you are going from where again if you come back i'll show the status that only concept it come back to the main when it come back to the main method now this line execution completed you have to execute which line now sir system dot out print ln x so i must execute here system dot out print ln some message will be there anyway i kept some message system dot out print ln some message system dot out print ln x you can access the x no yes sir main method can access static variable it takes x out this is the x x is taken or not now here no need to draw the arrow but it's okay then the main method output is coming understood this now right what is the first output now so this will be destroyed anyway what will be the first output means sir this is the first output this is the first output is yes or no right sir after that uh, the numbers will be confused again uh, can i give a b c d right because a this is the first output came roughly then this is the second output b this is the third output c and this will be the fourth output understood this why i given this much of time on static block to you the reason in your uh, question paper this to trace that output this output it to they'll give the output to you one program then output will be there from the output you have to match the program or not now this much of diagram drawing time not there no in your examination there will be only one minute or one and a half minute will be there for each question maximum two minutes you have to spend it if you want to work more efficiently you can work up to one and a half minute you can work it in that one and a half minute you have to trace the output or not now confusion so static blocks are there means more confusion so on that day method area heap area java stack area you cannot write no it takes 5 to 10 minutes i only take 15 minutes now but why we try it and show imagination immediately the imagination methods variables okay over now blocks would create headache to you because they are executing automatically no sub class means when it comes main class means when it comes if two blocks are there one after the other will come so like this you must be in position to identify them 
So did because I drawn the flow to you. This is the flow. All of you understood the block and say sir no to me. Right. Based on this, I'll give some questions, not practical questions. Uh, that same question paper type questions I'll give it. Means snapshots I'll give it. Means small small uh, small small programs I'll give it. Under that you are able to answer the FAQ questions or not. You have to check it. So like this, we upload few questions to you in the Google Classroom related to block and constructor together. You have to check back whether you are answering or not. This will play a crucial role for the interview. Okay, right? In a practical, only once we use it. That is in advanced, unless we never use a static block. Because methods are dominating in advanced Java. We use static block one or two times in practical. But in the theoretical point of view, for interview, it is playing a role to you, right? Okay. So this is the program for today, right? Can I stop the class, right? Because I came late every last Monday also. I came late ten minutes. So this week I had lot of work and because last week one holiday I given. Tomorrow working only. Shivaratri is there, no? But we are working for tomorrow. I only said on Saturday to you already. Tomorrow we are having a class. I get a sir. Any work is there only. You will have a work. Okay, right. I am coming back tomorrow. Tomorrow class is there same time. So tomorrow I will come in in time. Today out of station. I came late. So tomorrow onwards I must consume means I must save some time and move the syllabus. I had lot more work. Any doubts available in the programmatical park offline students? Whenever you find time, you can bring your laptops and check it and you can go get it corrected and go. I'll be sitting here only in the break time. You can come. Generally, I'll be sitting in this room by twelve forty. I'll be free. Generally, if not, my senior batch students will be sitting here. Advanced Java batches will be sitting here. They'll be working with some programs and so they'll be working. I'll be sitting here by twelve forty. They'll be working here. Few three or four students will be working. If you have, if you are nearer, if you want to ask a question, you can come in the time. I can give more time to speak to you. Any doubts are there? If not, my senior students will be me. That also your senior batch students. If not, they also will correct your problem and they'll send it. Anybody will be there. Okay, right? Offline students, you can come by twelve forty. I'll be sitting here. Any doubts is there? Got it right? So meanwhile, lab is there. Lab faculty is there in the fifth floor. I think they opened. I think, right? If not, you can go there. This is a point. Okay, right? Take a break. Thank you very much for today. Offline, online students, put your questions to me today. Online students, put your queries to me today. Saturday, not given any time to you.
Sub class, 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 sub class